New COVID cases are on the rise and so are new testing and vaccination sites. CBS 2's Marissa Parr takes us to one on Chicago's southwest side. Within the Ford City Mall, Georgia Johnson Bank celebrates a breakthrough. In between shopping for clothes, she shows us her newest accessory, the Band-Aid for her COVID vaccine. I've been saying I'm going to get the vaccine. Uh, my friends have all done it. As in my mind, I'm thinking, what took me so long? It's so simple. She's the first to get the shot at one of two new sites debuted by Agile Technologies. This one in Ford City Mall offers not just the vaccine, but rapid COVID testing. Now we're finding out because of the Delta variant that even the people who are vaccinated are being infected again and reinfecting others. Now we're getting into the danger zone again. A CDC study found large public gatherings in Massachusetts were tied to hundreds of COVID cases that followed. 74% of those infected were fully vaccinated. And that's exactly why COVID testing sites are probably not going away anytime soon. We have a grand opening that's happening today, and that's because we want to highlight the importance of testing along with vaccinations. While the needle on daily COVID testing in the state hasn't really moved too much since June, our cameras spotted lines at Lincoln Park testing site this week as mask policy changes and Delta variant fears clash with the Lollapalooza Music Festival downtown. And although we didn't see the same lines quite yet in Ford City Mall's new testing site, and you have Agile Tech CEO Roderick Martin says even helping one person a day would make it all worth it. That person may live with other people, works with other people. <laughs> if we can impact one life positively, it, it's exponential. Just over 58% of Illinois adults are fully vaccinated. And just days ago, the city added nine more states to the Chicago travel advisory. So if you're trying to catch up on the latest guidance as it continues to develop, or if you want to learn more about these testing sites we just told you about, head to our website. Reporting live from the Streetside Studio, Marissa Parra, CBS 2 News. Marissa, thank you.